Mari Chui is a girl with a big heart and a sunny disposition. Feisty and daring. She was raised in an orphanage since her mother thought she was dying and charged a priest with her baby's protection. When she is almost 15, Marichui runs away and lives in the streets of downtown Mexico City, doing her best to survive. ...and horrible nightmares she cannot understand. No! 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 Then, she is found by Candelaria, a humble washing woman who takes her in and becomes a loving mother to her. Dios te proteja, que duermas muy bien, que sueñes con los angelitos. Gracias, mi Candy. But Marichui's real mother, Cecilia, actually survived, and she and her husband have spent all these years looking for their... Isabella pretends to care for her friend, Cecilia, but she's greedy and cunning. She arranges for her niece, Estefania, to pose as the Velarde's lost daughter, and they welcome her into their home with open arms. <laughs> Marichui is always trying to help the children at the orphanage, stealing whatever she can for them. And she has been arrested on several occasions. By accident, she meets Juan Miguel, a psychoanalyst dedicated to helping wayward youths. Esa jovencita me interesa mucho. Le siento que en ella tenemos un caso muy interesante. Saves her from going to prison, persuading Judge Velarde to release her into his custody. Juan Miguel's wife disappeared in an accident and is presumed dead. Now he lives with his mother-in-law, Onelia, and his daughter, Mayita. Ya la convenció de que no tiene culpa en la muerte de mi hija. Onelia. Usted no le conviene que yo hable. Juan Miguel opens his home to Marichui, but Onelia sees the girl as a threat, fearing that her son-in-law will fall in love with her and makes her life miserable. Gracias. Marichui's noble spirit and cheerfulness win over Juan Miguel's heart, and the feeling is mutual. However, feeling she is too young for him, and to put some distance between them, Juan Miguel asks Cecilia to take her in. Cecilia agrees never suspecting that Marichui is her real dot, the home of her parents. Marichui is humiliated and mistreated by Isabella and Estefania, the young woman who not only usurped her place, but also has her eyes set on Juan... Que no se meta entre Juan Miguel y yo porque entonces la voy a hacer derramar lágrimas de sangre. But Estefania is not the only obstacle between them. Juan Miguel has a secret that could turn Marichui's love into bitter hatred. Marichui is an angel who doesn't live in heaven, afraid of nothing, whose young life may be full of problems and disappointment, yet never loses hope, and goes through each day with a smile, and with her wings open to love. Marichui is an angel, but watch out. <laughs>